I'm Ian Firth. I'm a structural engineer, independent consulting engineer. Um, many years as a bridge designer. Uh, 2017 president of the Institution of Structural Engineers. I mean, it's extraordinary, uh, isn't it? And these things happen so rarely, thankfully, um, that one doesn't often get to see this kind of, kind of thing happen actually, you know, in real time on a, on a film. Um, yes, I mean, unfortunately, it's almost inevitable that a bridge being struck by a vessel of that size is going to suffer a collapse. Um, the bridge, this particular bridge has a relatively lightweight supports. You've seen the photographs. It has a sort of four-legged um, four tripod, if there is such a thing, a quadrupod, uh, where the individual legs are, are you know, relatively thin element, structural elements. And to be struck by um, a vessel of that size, huge, really very large container vessel, uh, even traveling really quite slowly as it would have been, uh, would impart a massive force for which those supports are just not designed. And and the strategy, the, the bridge designer strategy and the client strategy, the owner, bridge owner, the strategy is of course to prevent the vessel from getting to such a place. You know, why did the vessel stray so far off the navigation channel? That's obviously a big question that has to be asked and answered. Um, but actually, you know, the fact is that it is possible for it to do so. And therefore, it is uh, really beholden upon the designers uh, to prevent it from being able to hit the, the bridge. And that is the strategy we normally take. We, we design uh, structures in the water. In this country, we call them dolphins. You can call them fenders or buffers or anything. Something which is sacrificial. Something which, if the ship hits it, it doesn't hit the bridge. It, 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 it gets deflected by this, this object. Um, or, or slowed down sufficiently that if it does hit the bridge, it's, the energy has gone out of it and it's not going to do so much damage. Now, uh, this bridge dates from the early 1970s. There was a very famous bridge collapse in 1980, the Sunshine Skyway in Florida, uh, which came down when a ship hit it. And after that, uh, many bridge owners and bridge designers have become much more aware of this problem. Most have. Uh, and we tend to design, you know, proper protection devices around our bridge supports or place our bridge supports in such a place, you know, far enough away from the channel in shallow water where a vessel would run aground uh, or even on land, if possible, you know. Um, unfortunately, this bridge predates that incident uh, and, you know, it doesn't have that kind of protection. There is some, there is one little round uh, object each side of the bridge, I've seen from the photographs, but it's not, not adequate. It's obviously insufficient to do the job. 